Hey, this is Chris Wells, the Bass Chaplain, and this is a YouTube channel for Faith and Fishing Hook Up. It's Memorial Day weekend, one of my favorite weekends, and I'm out here in my shop, which is also my garage. There's a little thunderstorm happening outside. You may hear some thunder, but I thought it would be a good time to just kind of sit and share with you some of my reflections on Memorial Day. Now, the first thing that I want to say is that it concerns me a little bit that a lot of people get Memorial Day and Veterans Day mixed up. Okay? Now, we should honor our veterans all the time, but Memorial Day is specifically not to honor every single veteran. It is to honor and remember those who have paid the ultimate price, the ones who have given their lives in order that we all may be free. Now, I was a kid. We used to run the banks of the Santee Cooper Reservoir, and my grandfather had a little lake cabin down there. And we would go down there during Memorial Day, and all the families and a bunch of people would come down there, and it was just an, a great and an awesome time. But my father would always sit us down. He'd sit us down on a big pine bench that my grandfather built. He would say, you know, today you're going to be fishing, you're going to be doing all the things down at the lake, and that's great. But you're able to do that because people, men and women, like your Uncle John Kennedy, gave his life so that you could be free. So I thought I'd share with you the story of John Kenneth. I think it's pretty remarkable. My uncle John Kenneth, my grandfather's brother, uh, enlisted in a branch of the service that no longer exists. It was called the Army Air Corps, okay? And uh, in the, during World War II, uh, he was captured in a place called Bataan. He was uh, forced to endure um, a hundreds of mile march called the Bataan Death March. He actually survived the march, but died in a prison camp later on. And um, my father, who was a merchant marine, um, decided on a whim he was going to wire all of his money home and hitchhike home just for the experience from New Jersey. Okay? He said, I was walking across the state of New Jersey, didn't think I was going to get picked up at all. And he said, an Army records officer picked him up. Well, in the course of conversation, they talked about John Kenneth. And the only thing our family knew at that time was that John Kenneth was missing in action and presumed killed in action. Well, the Army records officer pulled over on the side of the road. This is how the story was told to me. And he popped the hood, and in the back of his trunk, he had records, and he had the record of what happened to John Kenneth. And that's how my family found out what happened to John Kenneth. You talk about the providence of God. That is absolutely amazing. You know, the men and women that have given their lives such an amazing group of people, such an amazing attitude. I think that uh, a number of years ago I heard a, uh, a story by President Ronald Reagan that he told during Memorial Day speech about a man named Martin Triptow. Martin Triptow left his job as a barber and went into the famed Rainbow Division. And uh, he enlisted and he was carrying a, a message between battalions when he was killed in action. And in his diary, they found on his body, there was in the folly, this is what it read, I'm going to review, they call it Tripped House Pledge, this is what it says. He said, America must win this war. Therefore, I will work, I will save, I will sacrifice, I will endure. I will fight cheerfully and do my utmost as if the issue of the whole struggle depended upon me alone. What an awesome, awesome attitude. I tell you, that speaks to me not only as an American and a patriot, but it speaks to me as a Christian. Wow, what an attitude for all of us to have. Let me tell you, during this Memorial Day, I hope you'll remember the men and women who have given their lives so that we can be free. This is the Bass Chaplain. I hope you have a great Memorial Day.